guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to test the cheapest full-size 10-inch tile saw on Amazon. I know a lot of you guys are going to bring up Harbor Freight, Chicago Electric, but if you do the math, you do the numbers, if you order a saw with the saw, the blade, and the stand, this is the cheapest, around $300. So, QEP, full-size 10-inch tile saw. Let's show you what we got here. Here's the saw. Again, QEP, heavy duty tile saw. Here's your specs, two horsepower motor, 15 amps, two speeds. Can cut up to three and a quarter inch maximum depth. Includes a blade, water pump, rip guide, 45 degree miter fence or block, tools and tile stand. So again, QEP, cheapest tile saw for a full-size tile saw on Amazon. I've owned this in the past. I will link a video in the description below using this saw for a barbecue surround tile job. It's a good saw. We'll talk about the pros and cons. We'll test it on three different types of material here. We're going to keep this one pretty simple. We're going to cut a porcelain large format 12 by 24 tile here, high gloss. We're gonna draw a straight line and rip this three foot porcelain plank to see how well that tray cuts and see how straight it cuts to see if it veers off to the left or the right. And we're also gonna cut some glass here. Glass and metal, mosaic, typical backsplash. So, let's unbox this guy. Get it all set up, assembled, run a couple of tests on the cheapest full-size tile saw on Amazon. Here we go, guys. All right, there it is, guys. Saw is all assembled. Let's fill it up, plug it in, and make some quick cuts, testing out the cheapest tile saw on Amazon. Here we go. All right, saw is all filled up, ready to go. Just a couple of quick pros and cons on the saw already. One, it's definitely a pain in the neck to assemble. It takes a lot of time to assemble this saw, bolts and nuts. Um, I could have assembled a DeWalt, rigid, and beef saw in the time it took me to assemble this. Two, it's definitely messy. There's no extension trays, so it gets messy quickly. Some of the pros are that it's very quiet. Now, this is a belt-driven saw. Most saws today are direct drive, so they're very loud. So I'll show you right now, we'll turn it on. Another pro is that it gets fantastic water coverage, a very good pump, a lot of water sprays on the blade as you can see. And another good thing about this saw, even though it only has one rail, there's very little play and slop within this tray. So let's test it out, cut some tile. We'll first start with a three foot porcelain plank. So we have our line here. We'll see how closely the saw follows the line and how straight it cuts. Not 
not that bad of a cut. Hit it with a diamond pad or rubbing stone and you're good to go. Now here's one negative about this saw, one con, is this arm here. Unfortunately for 12 by 24 tiles, which are very popular right now, this saw is unable to cut one in half, as you can see. This end will hit this arm. So, if you are looking into this saw, you wanna buy this saw, if you're tiling a shower using 12 by 24, this wouldn't be the saw for you. But if you're tiling something under that, a 20 inch by 20 inch tile or less, this saw is good to go. Let's cross cut this 12 by 24, here we go. A very clean and fantastic cut there. All right, let's try some metal, aluminum, and glass backsplash mosaic. And there you go. Again, not a bad cut at all. Well, there you guys go. The cheapest tile saw on Amazon, the QEP, two horsepower tile saw. Now, real quick, the pros and cons. Uh, pros are, one, it's very quiet. It's not a direct drive, just like your DeWalt or Rigids. It's belt driven, so it's very quiet. Two, it's inexpensive. Three, the tray has very small amount of movement in it. No slop, cuts very straight. The price, of course, 300 bucks, very inexpensive, covers a saw, a blade, and a stand. That's a lot of tile saw for $300. Now, the cons. One, it cannot cut a 12 by 24 in half. So, if you're looking into the saw, make sure you're installing 20 inch by 20 inch tiles or less in order to cross cut, cut one in half. Two, the assembly time takes forever. Also, it sits very low. For a guy like me, six foot three, it might hurt or bother my back after using it all day long. But all in all, it's, it's a good saw. It, it could be for a contractor just starting out, getting into the industry. It can also be suited for a homeowner or DIYer, I mean, buy this thing new for 300 bucks, install the tile you need to install and just sell it used. So, all in all, good saw. QEP, 10 inch, full size tile saw. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Again, as usual, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.